On this channel, we had taken a look at Devin previously, which is the first AI software engineer. It's a fully autonomous AI software engineer that can complete tasks on Upwork, Coda applications, and so much more. On the SWE bench, which is a benchmark that asks agent to resolve real world GitHub issues found in open source projects, showcases that Devin outranks many LMs such as Claude, yep, GPT-4, and many others. Now, what if I am to tell you that there is an agent for this benchmark? Introducing SWE Agent, an agent computer interface that is enabling software engineering language models. This is an agent system that will basically have it so that it will turn large language models such as Claude 3, GPT-4, or many other software engineering agents that can fix bugs as well as issues in real world GitHub repos. Just take a look at this demo video, which will showcase the capabilities of the SWE agent. Hey, my name is Carlos, and today I'm going to show you an example of Sweet Agent resolving an issue from GitHub. So we'll be looking at this issue from SimPy, which is an instance in SweeBench, and we see that the user is reporting at this problem where this matrix operation call insert is producing some unexpected output. So it looks like a straightforward issue. We'll copy this GitHub URL and send this over to the Sweet Agent um, run script. And once that's going, we can uh, we'll, we'll wait for about a minute or two. But we can look at an example that ran a bit earlier. So here we have Sweet Agent trying to resolve this issue, and it starts off by reproducing the, the bug that's reported, which is always a good first step. So it copies the code from that issue into a new file called reproduce bug. And after running that, we see that we have the same results that are uh, reported in the issue, with this problem being present here at the bottom. So now that we've confirmed that the issue is a problem, is still a problem, we can search the uh, search the, the repository for this call insert function to see where it might be defined, and the model thinks that it is defined in this common.py file. So we open this common.py file in the file editor, and we can look at the different functions that are present, and we identify the eval call insert as being a particular function of interest. So we scroll that into view down on line 81, and after analyzing the code a little bit, the model realizes that there's a problem with the indexing for uh, those the, the values in this matrix operation. So we generate an edit, which is then applied again to this function, which can be seen after here between lines 87 through 89. And we go back to our reproduction code to run that again and see how the output has changed. And we see here that the output is actually uh, represents the expected result. So it looks like uh, the issue is resolved. And we clean up our workspace by removing that file and finally submit what we think is the right solution. So that produces this diff that we can evaluate with SweeBench. And after testing on SweeBench, we find that this submission passes the initial test and it doesn't break any of the existing tests. So we can mark it result. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, isn't that amazing? This is a project that will elevate large language models to solve real-world issues on GitHub way more efficiently than a dev would be able to. Throughout today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this further in detail, showcasing its capabilities, and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned, and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Sway Agent or SWE Agent, 
whatever you want to call it. But this is basically a groundbreaking project that transforms language models such as GPT-4 into proficient software engineering agents that are capable of identifying and fixing bugs and issues in actual GitHub repositories. This is like a new innovative approach that achieves remarkable uh, like results. And you can see that it actually was able to perform and achieve a 12.29% on issues. And this is the new state of the art result on the full test set. So what they've done is that they tested this new S or Sway agent on the SWE benchmark. And this is a benchmark as I talked about that is assessing real world application problems on GitHub where agents are able to solve these problems. And they basically assess how well a model is able to perform with this benchmark and we saw this with open devon where it was or not open devon but with devon which achieved a score of 13.86 so roughly 14 percent which was outperforming all these models and now we have sway agent which is an open source project that is outperforming cloud 3's opus model cloud 2 as well as gpt4 and it's just short by a couple of percentage in comparison to devon so we can see that with the 12.29 percent it's able to do quite well in issues comparison to other language models and this is basically a system or a framework you can say that is capable of having it attached and turning a language model such as gpt4 into a software engineering agent now on their blog post they stated that their key advancements lies in the development of an lm centric command and as well as a specialized agent computer interface which also stands for aci and this is something that facilitates a seamless interaction between the language model as well as the repository and this will basically enable tasks such as browsing viewing editing executing code in the terminal and such forth with the help of the sway agent so with this agent, you can have it so that it could be attached to a repository where it's going to be providing the platform or the system for continuous improvements and refinement of this ACI design. And with this project, you're going to be able to see that it's going to be able to help you dramatically in terms of helping you with editing as well as fixing issues on any sort of repository that is open source on GitHub. So let's actually take a look at this demo where you can actually try and see how this Sway agent is going to fix this pull request on GitHub. Now, this is a bug in the code where the, it's failing to calculate the output when the weather is reading certain digits. And this is just a simple like problem that is being pulled from a GitHub. And we're going to basically see what the next step is in terms of having it fixed. So to address this issue, we should first try replicating the bug as described. And this is the issue that includes a detailed script that triggers the bug. We'll create a new file called reproducebug.py and paste the example code into it to see if we can reproduce the error. So we can see that there's 38 separate steps, which will showcase what is the Sway agent going to be doing to accomplish and fix this problem of finding the bug and making the code less faulty. So we can see that it first starts off by creating a reproduce bug.python file. It's going to continue to use the terminal to execute. And you can see on the left hand side, these are all the command prompts that are being used to execute and solve this problem. So we're going to quickly go through each step. So it's now creating and updating the file. We're going to go through each and every 38 step to see what it's going to be able to do. So we can see on the left hand side now that the reproduce bug.file has been updated with the example code. So the code has been generated by the Sway agent. And now it's now working on putting this example code from the issue into this bug file. And now it's stating that let's run the script to see if it can reproduce the error as described in the issue. So now we can just simply click next. The error has been successfully reproduced, which confirms the issue described. Now it's stating that it's going to do a couple other procedures to find the bug. And if we are to keep on clicking next, it's going to explain what we can do next to find a solution for this. So if we are to push it forward, we can see that the tools file is now open, but the golden sect 
data frame function is not visible in the first 100 lines. Since the error message did not specify the exact lies, line number where golden sec data frame is located, we will use the search file command to find it within the tools.py file. And you can clearly see that whenever there is a hurdle, it's working alongside the agents within Sway agent to find a solution. And it will find every sort of path that is needed to basically find the best solution that is possible to achieve that single prompt, which was finding the bug in the code in that software file. And this is to basically have it so that there is no error when it's finding an output when the weather readings are being inputted. And at the end, we can slowly, I'm going to click through this quickly to not waste your time. But once we get to the end, I'm going to showcase what's able to generate. And there we go. We have the submission of the final code. It has worked through testing it. It passed all the tests and it was able to create the new code that doesn't have any bugs in that reproduce that bug file that we created. And you can actually submit this and test this out. And it is something that you can even go back to see what steps it took to fix that bug. And this is the real like capability of what Sway Agent is actually able to do. And this is something that is really helpful. So if you're actually interested, definitely go over to the GitHub repo. Sorry, I didn't have this loaded up. But if you are to scroll down, you can actually install this locally and you can set this up using Docker. It tells you to install Miniconda. You need to make sure that you create a virtual environment for this. So you would copy this into your command prompt first and create that Conda environment, run the setup folder or the file, and you're gonna be able to start this up with the Docker image. And it's super easy to get started. So if you're interested, take a look at the repo link in the description below. If you want me to provide you more assistance, definitely join the Discord and I can provide you more help in terms of installing this. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of this. This is definitely a great step forward, especially in the open source field where we're seeing uh, some sort of similarities of an open source Devon being released where it's going to be able to help you as a software engineer and it can assist you in many different use cases. Huge props to Carlos, which is the developer of this project. He's from Princeton, I believe, and as well as these other uh, developers behind this project. So huge props to all of them. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Patreon page to access our private Discord. This is a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you haven't. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Just sorry about that. <laughs> Turn on the notification bell. Like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.